Hello, welcome to um, Public Speaking Know-How Crash Course. And yesterday I spoke about lesson one, how you should be, I will go back to it, how you should um, inject some humor in your public speaking uh, events, focus on delivering your main points and being humble. So today we have another lesson which is lesson two and i did not introduce myself i am sarah yusupov and i am your instructor on public speaking know-how crash course so today's lesson is lesson two um, it's time for your second lesson in the public speaking know-how crash course i hope you found lesson one helpful in today's lesson we are going to talk about the importance of speech preparation. You can't shine at public speaking without a good speech. When you are asked to give presentation, it's important to have a well-organized outline and enough content to keep your audience entertained and engaged. When you are prepared, you are less to be fearful, you are less to make mistakes, you have notes in front of you, you know what topic you're going to talk about, and then you are more confident in presenting yourself, you know what to expect next. So the good news is that writing a speech isn't exactly like writing a term paper or a report, because what you write isn't intended to simply be read aloud. Since it will be heard, you don't have to worry as much about good spelling as you do the flow of the content and how people will receive it. Because the speech is not giving it, given out for others to read it, it's actually presented in your own words. So having a speech that you don't read from it, you actually have the outline in front of you so you can elaborate on, in your own words, that is what the best part. So you don't need to worry about spelling and everything else. A good tip is to write your speech in the form of an outline based on your focal points, as we discussed in the last lesson. The detail is the content and the substance of the speech will be the value you want to deliver. You can also include quotations, facts, historical references, scientific statistics, whatever you need to support the topic of your speech. How you organize your speech will determine, will be determined by what you hope to achieve. For instance, your speech might be intended to persuade, to sell, entertain, or to inform. It can also be a combination of these forms. It's important to define your expected outcome so that you can create content that will help you achieve your goals. For example, you could talk about how your product is used, how it will be, how it will benefit your audience, followed with a call to action that will encourage them to buy it. It's a good idea to lay out each section of your presentation in a way that will allow you to allocate your time effectively before you begin writing. This will help you determine how much content you will need to fill your time. The main components of your speech should include an opening, welcome, a personal introduction, the statement of the problem, three to five main points that give your audience enough information to make an inform informed decision, a summary, and a call to action, which is abbreviated to CTA. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. so you have six, six uh, strategies that you need to start with. Opening and welcome, personal introduction of who you are, what the topic is about, the statement of the problem that people are facing, three to five main points that give your audience enough information to make an informed decision. When I say three to five points, that means the benefits, the solutions and a summary of the product or the service or whatever that you offer and the call to action. What's the next step that the audience should take? 
So the opening, begin with something that brings the audience to you. Greet them warmly and ask for a greeting in a response. A short story, brief comments about current events or the weather can help get talk off to a good start. Then go into your personal introduction, making sure to include a little bit about your background, credentials, and why you are the one giving the talk. Be sure to peep every aspect of the presentation relevant to the central theme. Then goes the next thing goes the problem. A good speech is like a good story. To engage your audience, you must find the problem they can identify with and then show them how to solve it. For example, if you are going to discuss the benefits of using solar power, start out by talking about the harmful effects of fossil fuels or the high cost of electricity. Be sure to keep the problem relevant to your audience. Then move directly from there to presenting the body of your speech in a well-organized way. It's a good idea to have three to five solid points to focus on. Explain each point with enough detail to pick the interest of your audience and cement your presentation in their minds. The conclusion and CTA, call to action. This is usually just a summary of everything you talked about. This is an excellent time to include a solid CTA to hook your audience. This works especially well if they enjoy your speech because they will be excited to hear what you have to offer. In your CTA, make sure you tell them exactly what you want them to do, even if you think they are not going to do it because it gives a nice ending to the discussion. Lastly, thank them for their time and close with a friendly goodbye. This is a good time to invite anyone that has questions to stick around so that you can catch anyone who is in undecided. Ease their minds and address any concerns they may have. So that's it for today's lesson. In your next lesson, we will be talking about what to do when your presentation doesn't go as planned. Again, I appreciate your joining me for this short e-course. Remember, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. And also, I'm here to help. So you can reach out to me to twitter.com forward slash Sarah So uh, I would really appreciate if you like this course, if you share it with others, and also if you subscribe. That would be fantastic. See you next time.